the first day of autumn today. I know it's a little bit early. Are you finally ready to get out of bed? You've been sleeping all morning. Today's a special day. You live your life, you go in shadow. Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is a very exciting video because it is late August, which means it is that very special time of the year when us girls start anticipating and yearning for autumn, which is personally my favorite season. I think I just completely come alive in the burr months, September, October, November. They are just my absolute favorites. There is no other feeling like it. I've felt like this since I was a little kid. It's just one of those things that no matter how hard life gets, I always know like September will come and all will be well. And I'm just feeling very hopeful about things at the moment. And I don't want to just focus on like the commercial autumnal things. I want to also focus on, you know, just embracing change, the change of self that comes with that. And today will be spent doing so, but I will still be partaking in the consumeristic autumnal activities because there is a list of books I want to buy and those Bath and Body Works candles are always calling my name. And I think I might make an autumnal soup later on. So yeah, we'll just see what this day has in store for us. I know it's quite early to start preparing for autumn, but honestly, we don't really get autumn weather where I live here anyway, so it's more of just a social and spiritual concept for me. So there's really no rules as to when you can start your preparations. So if you need permission to do so, I am giving you permission right now with this video to start. I hereby announce the official start of autumn. I'm actually going to get ready for the day because I can't actually wear this outside because it's too hot. And then after that, we are going to go to Barnes & Noble, maybe hit up a coffee shop, and we'll, we'll just see what happens. It's going to be amazing. I have to to shout out the small business that gifted me this dress. It's from Love by Venus and I'm obsessed with this dress. It's so cute and it's sustainably made and it's a small business so definitely check them out. Follow them on Instagram. You know what I love about this dress is that it's white but it's not see-through and it's so hard to find white dresses that aren't see-through for some reason. And then we have my corduroy messenger bag that I thrifted and my boots are from Vince Camuto. This is a good like transition into autumn outfit, like end of summer, early autumn kind of outfit, you know? My my current read is The Waves by Virginia Woolf, which this is the one that I was like most excited to read out of her books. And my brother just got me this for my birthday, so I'm so excited to really get into it. I like just started it last night, so so far it is really good. And the writing is just like so beautiful, of course. So I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and read this. And also I had to show you guys that I have a little bow in my hair, which is adorable, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna go get in my car now, finally. I've worn out, I've worn out the world I'm on my knees in fascination Looking through the night And the moon's never seen me Got off and looked up, looked into your eyes. The lost open windows all around my dark heart lit up the sky. I definitely want to get this one. There's also a lot of Virginia Woolf books here. I already have all of these books, but I really just want them for the covers. I don't have this one though, so maybe maybe I'll get that one. Looking through the night and the moon's never seen me before. But I'm reflecting I was vlogging right now in the car and 
let me tell you this is a very big parking lot and a car just pulled up right next to me of course and you know at first i was like really upset about it for some reason because i was like this is a targeted attack on me and then i just like watched this man like get out of his car close the door and just like walk into the store and i was like you know what not everything's about me all the time he was just parking his car and i have no reason to be upset because he's gone now and like not everyone has bad intentions around me people are just like living their lives and i'm just living mine and it's fine anyways i got two books from barnes and noble um i will just do like a little car haul for you guys so the first one is a book of days by patty smith and this is essentially just a bunch of her photography and it looks really really cool and i thought it would be very creatively inspiring for me I, this is total deja vu because a year ago in my preparing for autumn vlog i purchased patty smith's memoir memoir just kids which then transcended me into like a patty smith obsession and she's been one of my huge inspirations creatively so i wanted to honor that and buy another one of her books and i thought i just really really love her photography it's like these are just like so such beautiful beautiful pictures and i thought this would be a good one to kind of like keep on my desk at all times as like a little book of inspiration the other book i got is the last sane woman by hannah regal i thought this just looked really interesting i don't know i hadn't seen it before have you guys seen this before i thought the cover was like super cool but the back says disquieting and gorgeous the last sane woman plucks images from the world with the claustrophobic pleasure of picking a scab. It reaches deep into the negative spaces of failure and precarity, and from these resources assembles something caustic, elegant, elusive, and foreboding. It's also funny with an offbeat sly lightness that comes from knowing exactly how high the art odds are stacked against you. I was hooked by the conversation between Regal's protagonists looping across generations to give voice to the pains of making and shameful pleasures of destruction. Sorry, that took like every brain cell for me to read for some reason. I was like kind of supposed to get like autumn themed books, which I did not really do. Anyways, I would like a coffee at this point in time. So I'm gonna go do that. Hold on to nothing for good. Turn and run at the mean dogs. So I got a hazelnut latte. I'm on my knees in fascination Looking through the night And the moon's never seen me So what's happening now is I am going to make a soup and watch Gilmore Girls because some things never change and this is one of those things. We got Gilmore Girls queued up on the computer. We have a little soup pot. It's gonna be sweet potato, broccoli, I have like chicken broth, some onions, and I'm gonna add cottage cheese in there. I think it will be good. I like all of these things separately. The thing about me is I'm really good at making soup. I'm not gonna lie. There's not a lot of things that I'm extremely confident in, but I'm very confident in my soup making skills and I can kind of just like do it without a recipe. Not to flex on you guys or anything, but she makes a good soup. What can I say? Oh, so I'm just kind of gonna throw it together and if it's good, I'll, I'll put like a little recipe for you guys if you want to try it for some reason. Look, I'll be needing one of your larger tables this morning, since your smaller table simply cannot accommodate the sheer size of my massive trophy. Put it on the floor. Uh, we need a couple of donuts and uh, some of those extra legs. Heather Mills is sending over to Croatia. One of Rory and Jess the early years. What? Rory and Jess are together. I think this is great. Don't you think this is great? I'm not quite sure what other way there is to say no walnuts in the salad, except to say no walnuts in the salad. Mom, she just made a mistake. We can't wait ten minutes for another salad. The situation's that dire. Emily, are you fine? Yes, Richard, I'm fine. Thank you. Bless you. So, tell me, how's it ask? I remember when I was preparing for Yale. Mm -hmm. I don't believe I slept the entire year. My years in Yale were absolutely 
a cappella singing group I belong to at Yale. A singing group? A very famous singing group, actually. You sure you don't want a soda? Yeah, I'm sure. Please let me get you a soda. I gotta do something other than stand here like a moron. Take comfort in the fact that you are not doing it alone. I think that's about a foot. Huh. That school of yours is really paying off. Do you see how I'm being very cozy, very autumnal, very mindful, very demure right now? I've been spending a lot more time on TikTok lately than usual, which is not good. The soup is going well and it smells really good. It's kind of just a hodgepodge of the things that I happen to have in my fridge because I need to go grocery shopping, so and it has sweet potato. If anything has sweet potato, it's going to be good for me because the sweet potato is like one of my favorite foods. So, yeah. The future squander, the Gilmore name still made speech. I am not going to leave Rory's education to chance simply because I might risk offending you. Lower life, come back inside. Lower life, put the phone away and come back inside. Yes, hi, in New Haven. I need a, um, a number of a cab company. Thank you very much. I'm going to go study. Okay, hon, see you back home. Bye. Bye. Did you know that I had a little talk with Jess earlier? You did? Yes, I did. I really laid down the rules concerning him and Rory. Oh, good. Yep. You know they're together now. So last year I made an autumn bucket list in this video and this year I just kind of wanted to like set my intentions for the season. So that is what I've been doing here. I really want to keep pushing myself creatively. I think I had a really good stride with this in the springtime. Um, it kind of fell off a little bit in the summer just naturally, but autumn is my thriving era so I'm ready to get back on that train, which is not really a matter of getting back to it. It's more so just creating new energy. Every video I make, like I want each video to be better than the last one. I want to get better at my writing. I really want to try to experiment with different photography styles, just everything. And I'm not going to allow the fake tree analogy to haunt me. I will let my multifaceted parts shine through and they will coexist with each other in whatever way that works. I think we're just like meant to be very cosmically intertwined with the seasons and reflect all of the change that happens within that and it can be scary to like really embrace that from within but I think it's a good thing and I'm going to continue to evolve and change and I encourage you to do so and I think it's important to remember that whatever it is that you want to be is already within you and it's only a matter of like unearthing and harvesting your most authentic self. Maybe you don't want to think of it as like completely changing or rebranding or anything like that. It's only just a matter of being who you truly are at the end of the day, which is going to feel like evolution. I think this is like what humans are meant to do. I think like changing and evolving is really my only true purpose here in life. Just the same as like a flower or like a tree would be. I literally feel like I'm no different than that. I I think the most uh, empowering part to remember is that you also get to decide who you want to be in this world. We're all just characters in our own little stories and you're the writer of your own story so you get to choose who you want to be and of course we all have like natural dispositions of the way that we are but at the end of the day you really do have the choice and I think that's a very magical thing. So yeah. I'm taking a month-long trip to the UK next soon next week actually i'll talk more about it in my next video but i am so scared it'll literally be so out of my comfort zone which is these four walls but i'm more excited than i am scared so that's good i do have a patreon where i post bonus videos so if you want to go follow and support me on there i appreciate it so much um, i have pinterest instagram and tiktok that'll all be linked down below yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it gave you some comfort as we go into the next season i love you guys and i will see you in my next one Bye.